And in our top business story, Emirates Airline has posted a 42.5% increase in profits to 887 million US dollars for the last financial year. That's off the back of a 13% rise in revenue to 22.5 billion US dollars. In its 26th consecutive year of profit and company-wide growth, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, the chairman and CEO of Emirates Airline and Group, presented the annual results, financial results for the 2013-2014 period earlier today. The group posted a 31.6% rise in profits to 1.1 billion US dollars, helped by a 13.2% increase in revenues to 23.9 billion US dollars. The number of passengers carried by the airline rose by 13% or 44.5 million, while seat factor decreased by 0.3% to 79.4%. Airline services subsidiary Donata recorded a rise of 1.2% in profits to 226 million US dollars, resulting from a 14% rise in revenue to 2.1 billion US dollars. The group also saw staff numbers rise by 11.2% to 75,496. His Highness said that the results reflected record increases in capacity and a record US$6 billion US dollar investment across the group for new aircrafts, facilities, employees and acquisitions. Emirates Sky Cargo Operations recorded a 9% increase in revenue to US$3.1 billion, US dollars, while revenue for its destination and leisure management division, which includes the operation of JW Marriott Marquis Hotel in Dubai, increased by 35% to 170 million US dollars. I'm really happy that uh, all the talks that has been said about the Gulf carrier and how uh, the government is really uh, helping them and supporting them. I want also the world to know that all the Gulf carrier and Emirates, uh, uh, for sure, is really winning a lot of business because of the project offering that they have. And this is one of the reasons that why millions of people fly from, on Everest. Across the six regions that Emirates serves, East Asia and Australasia remained the highest revenue contributors at 6.5 billion US dollars, a 14% increase on the previous year. His Highness Sheikh Ahmed also mentioned the challenge of losing an estimated 272 million US dollars during the 80 day runway closure at the Dubai airport. I think for the uh closure of, of the runway Tamas. I, th I think also we'll try to save because of the operation because we will not be operating those aircraft which is on the ground I think nearly 25% of our total fleet is on, on the ground uh, so over the year I think we will be able to to make up that by receiving more aircraft operating the new route and all of that would really the money supply aggregate M1, or currency in circulation, plus monetary deposits, increased by 1.9% from 389.2 billion dirhams at the end of January 2014 to 396.6 billion at the end of February 2014. The UA Central Bank announced in a statement that the money is supply aggregate M0, or currency in circulation, plus currency at banks, also increased by 1.1%, from 63.5 billion dirhams at the end of January 2014 to 64.2 billion at the end of February. The money supply aggregate M2 increased by 1.3%, while money supply aggregate M3 increased by 0.9%. And additionally, total bank deposits increased by 0.6% during February due to an increase in resident deposits by 10.3 billion dirhams and a decrease in non-resident deposits by 2 billion, reaching 1,299.5 billion dirhams. 
Meanwhile, total bank loans and advances increased by 0.6% to reach 1,293.5 billion dirhams, and total bank assets increased by 1% to reach 2,146.3 billion dirhams at the end of February 2014. It was a celebration for many reasons at the MENA Travel Awards on Wednesday evening. The decade-long award body recognised the rest of the local and regional hospitality, tourism and travel sectors for 2013-2014. His Highness Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Humaid Al Nuaimi, the member of the Ajman ruling family and chairman of the Ajman Tourism Development Department, inaugurated the event held at the Conrad Hotel here in Dubai. Dr. Sam Saker, the president of the CHA International and organizer of the event, said that the MENA Travel Awards has witnessed the growth of hospitality and tourism in the region and recognizes the teams behind it. This year, 170,000 end users have voted for their preferred hotels, conference and convention venues, spas and restaurants, just to name a few, that led to the recognition of 56 winners under 19 categories. And this year, a special focus was given to the UA tourism authorities for their outstanding contribution that has placed the UA to where it is today as a leading global destination. What have happened in the past, we have recognized tourism authorities in the whole Middle East and North Africa. However, last year and this year, we have seen an acceleration rising of the United Arab Emirates and coming from being the 30th in 2011, the 30th worldwide in the ranking scale for best tourism uh, and travel activities, they have raised from, from 30 to 28 in 2013. So we have seen the efforts that all the authorities are doing here. We, we, we felt like we need to zoom on these tourism authorities this year and make sure that they get recognized and focus on why and how they make it happen for themselves first and for the United Arab Emirates altogether. For the category of Best UA Tourism Authority, Dubai Tourism and Commerce Marketing, along with Abu Dhabi Tourism and Culture Authority, tied for the Platinum Award. Sharjah Commerce and Tourism Development Authority bagged the gold, while the Ras Al Khaimah Tourism Development Authority received the MENA Silver Award. We feel really pleased and proud and honoured to win this award tonight. Um, the MENA Travel Awards are a very prestigious uh, set of awards, well respected by the hospitality industry. And I think the thing that makes them really uh, powerful is the fact that they're voted for by real people rather than by some voting committee. So what it means for the people of Russell Kema, the tourism authority of Russell Kema, for our partners in Russell Kema, and of course for His Highness Sheikh Saud bin Sakhar al Qasimi, whose vision, direction and support has been you know, a key factor in terms of developing uh, tourism. I think it means, uh, first of all, that we've all been doing a great job. Secondly, that we've got a bright future ahead of us. And thirdly, in response to your comment about, you know, people visiting Ras Al Khaimah, everybody should visit Ras Al Khaimah. This is indeed a very uh, <clears throat> important uh, recognition uh, of Sharjah. This is what drives Sharjah to move forward and to be more recognized uh, in, in the UAE and also in front of the whole world.